Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail and we're continuing here in Lurgan and where we are now is we're actually outside one of the old uh, Quaker buildings also known as the Society of uh, Friends and so I'm going to give you a wee look at this and then I'm going to take you down to the newer church and uh, as I take you down then I'll give you a wee commentary on the way down but that's the old uh, Quaker building and now as you can see it says there patient and client council so I seen people coming out of this earlier so I assume it's still in use only not as a Quaker building obviously but as the patient and uh, client council so that's the old uh, Quaker building and of course, it is still in use because you can tell by inside. But uh, it's no longer used by the Quakers. And of course, behind the wall there is the graveyard, the Quaker graveyard. So the earliest meeting house was built here in Lurgan in 1696. Now, this building here isn't from that period. This building here is from 1882. It was built in 1882. And uh, the new meeting house, which we're going down tonight, it was actually built in 1996. But the, uh, the first meeting of the Society of Friends in Ireland took place in Lurgan here in 1654 and was organized by a local shopkeeper called William Edmondson, who had actually fought in Cromwellian's, uh, Cromwell, sorry, uh, army. And he was known as the father of Quakerism in Ireland. Now he was born in Little Musgraves, uh, Westmoreland in 1627, which is in England. And he served as a trooper under Cromwell through the campaigns in England and Scotland. And then in 1652, he left the army, married. He joined his brother, who was also uh, a trooper in Cromwell's army. And so he joined his brother here in Ireland and they opened a shop in Antrim and then he moved from Antrim to Lurgan here in 1654 where he set up business again and he was in his new hometown of Lurgan uh, it was sorry it was in his new hometown of Lurgan that uh, he gathered with his wife his brother and also uh, four others for worship and so this is formally recognized as the first uh, meeting of the uh, society of friends in Ireland. You can see a, the, one of the trees there from inside the graveyard. Unfortunately, we can't get into the graveyard. We can't get into the church either because it's all locked up. And so he, he made great exertions to uh, relieve the general distress, which was prevalent in Ireland during that time. And his uh, personal appeal to King James II uh, was not without result. Now, during the war of 1689-1691, that's the William I. Jacobite Wars, uh, his sufferings and those of other friends, other Quakers in Ireland, had been very great. Friends were especially the victims of the uh, depredations of the Rapparis, or in other words, the Irish Irregular troops, who were dis disposed to regard with little favour the occupants, however inoffensive those occupants might be, of the lands once held by their ancestors. And so this is the present day quicker building <clears throat> as you can see quicker meeting house and you can see the date there is 1996 and just in there is the graveyard the gate to the graveyard but uh, we can't get in there because uh, we can't get into the, the grounds of the church either because there's a lock on and so William Edmondson, he died at Rosnella, I think as you pronounce that, it's in Southern Ireland, on the 31st of August, 1712, aged 84. You can get a bit of a look there at the graveyard. And of course, you can visit his grave in the Quaker Cemetery, because that's where he's buried, in Rosnella. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So that's the Quaker building, the modern day building. And 
now you can see some of the graves. Hopefully, if I can get my hand turned around. Even though we're, we're not in. But that's some of the graves in the uh, Quaker burial ground. In Lurgan. And so it's amazing to think that uh, this building here was set up 300 years after the original establishment of Quakerism by William Edmondson in the town of Lurgan. So there you go. And the church there at the bottom is the Lurgan Baptist Church. And just behind that is actually the park, Lurgan Park. So thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And if you enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. God bless.